What's up, Space Pirates? This is your captain, the Dread Pirate, Dr. Disaster, and it looks like James O'Keefe has done it again. He's used a sting operation to get somebody to admit to something that they shouldn't. I shouldn't have said that. I should not have said that. His video just momentarily dropped on X, so this is breaking news, but a few days ago, O'Keefe promised that he would be releasing damning information against Disney, and now it's here. Michael Giordano, the senior vice president and team lead for 20th Television at Disney, was just caught on camera saying that Disney basically doesn't hire white men any longer. I've been saying it. I've been saying it for 10 damn years. Ain't I been saying it, Miguel? Huh? I've been saying it. He says this flat out. The context is that James O'Keefe usually sets these people up so they think they're on a date or something. And on this fake date, this dude admitted to stuff that could get Disney in big trouble. But in order to be fair, let's hear from Disney real quick to get their response to this breaking situation. Oh, shit! Alright me hearties, make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and also, follow me on Twitter where my handle is DrDisaster1. But let's dive right into this video from O'Keefe to see what was said. Once again, this dude that we're going to hear from thinks he's on a date, so he thinks that he's safe to say this stuff. Certainly, there have been times where, you know, they, there's no way we're hiring a white male person. Just kind of it's, yeah. unspoken. Uh, there are times when it's spoken. But How would they say it? There's no way we're hiring a white male person. Like that. straight to you? Yeah. or Okay. Yeah. They'd be very careful how they message that to agents. I think I'm sort of like well prepared for it. I'm well uh, positioned for it. But... As far as Disney's concerned, I'm a white male. That's not what the, who they're looking to promote at the moment. Oh, really? Yeah, we've been saying this for a long time now. Wokeness is a mental sickness that makes people think that blatant racist hiring practices are okay. This manifests itself on the screen constantly, but clearly this runs much deeper. You know, I, you know I've been at the company 11 years now, so I have friends in HR and I have friends in those yeah. divisions, and they're like, look, nobody else is going to tell you this, Mike, but they're not considering any white males for a shot. They're just not. Not we wanted to hire somebody in the department a few years ago now um, who was half black but didn't like appear half black. And um, there was a creative executive who was like, we're not, like, that's not, that's not what's wrong. Like, they wanted somebody in meetings who would appear a certain way and he wasn't gonna, gonna bring that to the meeting. I mean, it kind of feels like we're, you know, at some point there's going to be a lawsuit. That because that's today. Look, I don't know if someone is going to get directly sued for this. I don't mean to give anyone legal advice here because I'm no lawyer, but it seems to me that if you were ever turned down for a job as a white person at Disney, that you would have a potentially strong case against them if you wanted to sue now. But let's watch some more. I'm guessing that there is a acceptable code words and buzzwords that are used to explain what they what they're looking for. They might say something like, you know, look, we're not we're we're not looking at like the usual suspects for this job. Right now. So it's like not like a legally actionable thing. So like everybody knows what it means. They, you know, the writers and actors hear all the time, like uh, you know, looking to hire writers and actors who bring diversity. I'm not, I'm not looking to bring on any more clients who are away. I told you. Yep. I told you. It's as we have been saying for a long time. 
DEI is really just a code word for anyone that isn't a white male. It's an excuse to be racist, frankly, and this next clip suggests that Bob Iger has some major responsibility here. You know, we have a diversity, equity, inclusion yeah. department who's okay. very involved in like setting standards to make sure that you know shows have diversity. Do you think like Bob has a say in the diversity stuff when they're casting people? Like 100%. Yeah. So what? He, he gives the director. I mean, for each show? For not, each Not that specifically, but like, you know, hey, I want their, I want every show to have a substantial yeah. diversity. It's like an all-across thing, like all of HR, there's like that one specific person that mm. kind of like, because I, I forgot Good the question. lady's name, um, she's the head of the... Oh, I know you're the, talking about the head of the, 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 yeah. the African-American yeah. lady, yeah. yeah. So is that like kind of her deciding She that? oversees a lot of that, for sure. Um, it, but it's pretty broad, I would say. There are other people in HR who are also focused on that. I would say a relatively large percentage of our top writer creators happen to be gone. And a lot of just by happenstance i mean like just like <laughs> if, you, if, if, if you say whatever i don't know whatever 10 or 15 percent of the population is there i would guess they 30 to 35 percent of our top writers yeah. be, you know gay and so i think a lot of them lean into train stories more than the average straight writer would this is quite a shock I think there are times when it's like so front and center, it's like great because that's the focus, you know. Like we, we have we have so many shows where we're casting and we're like, yeah, we're, we're not even going to see, you know, certain people for it because we need that particular role to, yeah. you know, to So is it is it intentional that they want, like they're, they only look for diverse candidates for certain times. roles? Yeah. I think there's certainly a belief that it's just good for society and they know but there's also a belief that like we're gonna make more money if we appeal to a wider variety of people and that's a good thing you people are idiots <laughs> we have shareholders too you know and, and so diversity helps with that diversity helps with financial incentive yeah. okay. so is it like do you think it's more so on that side or are you saying like any good crisis I get put to use or regardless. I think the Disney okay. would regardless. But I think that there are like even conservative people who may not want to lean into it can easily make the argument that like we make more money when we have deal with a wider variety of people and that means diversity. <laughs> oh wait, you serious? Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> That's who we are dealing with when we are dealing with the likes of Disney and Lucasfilm and all these IPs that we used to love. As we've said, they have been taken over by ideologically possessed morons who actually believe in this woke mission. They have been brainwashed. But I will leave it there. If you want to watch the full video from O'Keefe, and I recommend that you do, I will leave a link in the description. Drop your thoughts on all of this in the comment section in the meantime, and we will talk there. Thanks for watching me, hearties. If you haven't already, your captain is inviting you to subscribe to the channel and become a part of the crew. Life as a space pirate may not be glamorous, but there's always plenty of boots.